In this demo we are going to write a new program in the spirit of the migrated code. The programs that you would like to write should show us all the orders in the orders table. It should allow the user to view and edit the data that exists in those rows. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a new folder and call that folder demo. Inside that folder we're going to add a new item and we'll choose the UI controller template. The UI controller template is the base template we use to write user interactions with the application. It will generate a form for us and a controller. Let's have a look. Okay. As you can see, Visual Studio generated two files for me. One is the show orders controller, in which we'll write the code that controls the interaction with the application. And we can see the show orders form. So we'll start by saying which entity we want to see. We'll say public models, okay, referencing the models folder, and in that folder we'll choose the orders entity, okay. As you can see, Visual Studio helps me type, selects the values for me, doesn't force me to write that much, which is pretty cool. Next thing we're going to set is the form of this controller, setting into the orders entities that we just defined, okay. Form is, is in comparison to the main table in Magic, okay. We'll build, make sure that everything is okay, and switch over to the form itself. Over here we'll choose a grid, okay, we'll ask the grid to dock to the full screen and select the columns that we would like to see. We want to see the orders ID, customer ID, order date, ship via, and ship city. Okay, the wizard generated all the columns and the text box that are required for the screens that we wanted. Okay, and all there is left now is to add it to the menu. So we'll open the menus, add the menu entry called demo. And under it, add the child called show orders. Okay, double click here, and we'll tell him which program we want that menu to call. So we'll say new demo dot show orders dot run. So this is the name of our class and the method that executes it. Let's run and see where it takes us. Demo show orders, and voila, we've got a grid with all the orders in the database. It's properly managed, it doesn't load everything into memory, it uses proper paging, etc. I have all the capabilities that I would expect from a program immediately after it comes out. I can update everything, and it will update the database, delete it, sort accordingly, etc. We can also even do incremental locate. We can press here and say London, and it will immediately take me there. In the next video, I'm going to uh, review this program and add some functionality to it, and as we move along, add more and more functionality to this basic program.